All right, hi, this video is going to talk about problem solving with algebra. So the learning goal for this video is to learn how to model and solve various types of problems using algebraic expressions and equations. Um, so these uh, questions are going to be like puzzles. So it's going to be tough. Uh, you're going to have to stick with me. If you're going to have to rewind something, you're going to rewind something. It's going to be a little bit tough. So uh, just warning you, but uh, be, you know, be optimistic that you'll get this, okay? All right, so we're gonna be solving some algebra problems um, or problems that you can use algebra uh, in order to solve them. Um, you're gonna be asked to find something. So whatever you're asked to solve or find, make it equal to X. Okay? You may need to represent other values also with respect to X, and you'll see what I mean uh, when we start in a problem. Um, and again, um, you need to create an equation in order to uh, solve for x, right? So use the information given to you to create an equation involving x, and then um, you'll be able to solve for x. So let's just get you know to a to a question here. So let's say Jeremy is five less than twice the age of Michelle. Together their ages add up to 52. So how old are Jeremy and Michelle? So when we start questions like this, we need to come up with what we call let statements. So in other words, I want to let x, okay, you can use any letter, but I'll just use x, let x be um, Michelle's age. All right. Now we're making Michelle X because Jeremy is uh, Jeremy's age is being compared to Michelle's. So if Michelle's is X, Jeremy is five less than twice the age of Michelle. So Jeremy is again just basically twice the age of Michelle, but five less than that. So that means uh, Jeremy's age is twice the age of Michelle. So that's basically two times X, but it's five less than that. So that's why we can write two X minus five. Okay. So two X minus five can be Jeremy's age. Okay. And again, it's five less than twice the age of Michelle. All right. So now that we have expressions to represent Michelle and Jeremy's age, Okay. Now we can come up with an algebraic model here. So it says here, together, their ages add up to 52. So I'm going to add up their ages and make it equal to 52. So I'm going to write x plus 2x minus 5. Okay. If I add those two up, I should equal 52. All right. So here is the equation that we can use from the information to um, solve for x and then ultimately answer the question. So x plus 2x here is equal to 3x uh, minus 5 is equal to 52. So we're just using um, the golden rule or the balanced approach to solving this equation. So um, uh, I notice here there's a minus 5, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So 3x here is equal to 57. Now I'm going to now divide both sides by 3. So x here is equal to 19. So now that I know that x is 19, I can now use that to answer the, the original question, which is how old are Jeremy and Michelle? So Michelle's age is actually x, right? So Michelle okay, is 19. Um, but let's take a look at Jeremy. Jeremy is 2 times x minus 5. So let's do a little side calculation here. So 2 times x minus 5, well, that's the same thing as 2 times 19 minus 5. 2 times 19 is 38. Take away 5 is 33. So Michelle is 19, and Jeremy is 33. So we came up with two statements for Michelle and Jeremy's age. We created a model using the information, solved the model, and then used that x to answer the question. Okay, let's try another one. Let's have one involving measurement. So the height of a right triangle is twice the length of the base. 
period. If the area of the triangle is 121 centimeters, determine the dimensions of the triangle. So um, let, right, let's say let x be, so notice here that the height is compared to the base. So we're going to uh, start with the base being x. Let x be the base. All right, and then because height is being compared to the base, now we can come up with an expression for the base. It's twice the length of the base, so it's twice this. So that's 2x, right? 2 times x. Let 2x be the height. All right, now we know it says here the area of a triangle is 121. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. But um, I know what base is actually, right? Base is x, right? So instead of writing b, I'm going to write x. Instead of the height, it's 2x right? divided by 2. Now also, oops, I know what the area is actually. The area is 121 is equal to, now this is 2x squared divided by 2. Okay. Now, um, the 2's can divide out actually here, so let's just go over here. 121 is equal to x squared, so we need to solve this equation. Um, now, x is squared, so to just get rid of the square, I have to take the square root of both sides. A, a square root of 121 is 11, is equal to x. So, I know what um, x is, but that's not the question. It's asking me to determine the dimensions. So the base is actually x, which is 11. Right? So um, if x is 11, what's 2x? So 2x is the same thing as 2 times 11, which is 22. So I can say the base is whatever x is, which is 11. So it's 11 centimeters. And the height is 22 centimeters. So again, we came up with two statements, created an algebraic model using the information given to you, solved it, and used x to solve to uh, answer the question. Okay, so the learning goal, sorry, the success criteria for this, um, you'll be successful if, okay, you can make whatever you're asked to find equal to x, or whatever variable you want. You can represent other quantities with respect to x. Okay, so notice that you know with um, Michelle's age was x and Jeremy's all age was also um, had something to do with x. Okay. Um, I can create an equation to model the given information. You can solve the equation to get x and then use the value of x to answer the original question. Okay, so keep this in mind as you are solving this question. So Phil has four more then three times the number of books as Janice. Together their collection has 128 books. So determine the number of books that Phil owns. So give this question a try. Start by writing let statements. Uh, pause the video and uh, give it a shot. And when you're ready to check your work, press play. All right, good luck. Okay, so let's start with the let statements here. So notice that Phil is being compared to Janice. So let's start with Janice in our let statement. So let x be the uh, number of books um, owned by Janice. All right. So Phil, though, it's four more than three times the number of books is Janice. So um, we're going to let, uh, so three times the number of books is Janice. So 3x but Phil has four more than three times. So we can write 3x plus four. So let 3x plus four um, be the number of books owned by Phil. So now the question uh, or the state, the beginning said, their collection together has 128 books. So if we add the two of them together, their number of books equals 128. So I can say that um, Janice's book, which is X, plus Phil's books added together should make 128 of them. So now that we have an algebraic model, and that's the hardest part, okay, if you can do this, you're good. 
Now let's uh, just solve the equation, right? So we're going to simplify to 4x plus 4 is equal to 128. Let's subtract both sides here by 4. So 4x is equal to 124. Now if we divide both sides by 4, then um, x is equal to, and I believe that's 31. So let's answer the number of books that Phil owns. So the, his expression is 3x plus 4. So 3x plus 4 is the same thing as 3 times 31 plus 4. So that's uh, 93 plus 4, which is 97. So we can say Phil owns 97 books. Okay. All right, let's look at um, a measurement problem. So a rectangle has a length that is three times the width. The total area of the rectangle is 147 cubic, uh, sorry, square centimeters. So let's determine the dimensions of the rectangle. So again, start with let statements and then create a model and then solve it to help you answer the question. So pause the video, give it a shot, and press play again when you're ready to check some work. So good luck. All right, let's start with some let statements here. So um, let's later let's switch it up. Let W be the width, right? W be the width. Um, so let's look at the length. The length is three times the width, right? So if this is the width then three times is going to be the length. Okay. Let's look at the algebraic model. The area of the rectangle is 147. So we have here area of a rectangle is length times width. Now the width is already W, but the length here is actually 3W. So I can replace the L with 3W times W. So 3w times w is 3w squared. Oh, I also know what the area is, right? Oops, so let's, let's erase that for a second. Um, the area is 147. All right, let's try to isolate w. So I notice that I got the 3 in the front, so I'm going to divide both sides. So the 3s will divide. The right here will have w squared, and I believe that is... 39, right? No, 49, 49. That's just, come on. Let's just double check. Yay, 49. Okay, great. All right, now that we know that W squared is 49, we need to know what W is. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So W then has to be the square root of 49, which I know that one. That's 7. So the width is 7, but the length is 3 times w. So 3 times w is the same thing as 3 times 7, which is 21. So we can come up with an answer. Right? Uh, the uh, length is 21 centimeters, and the width is 7 centimeters. All right. So. Just to wrap things up, so whatever you're looking for, make it X or your favorite letter. Okay? Now, the, the hardest part of this is creating the model. Okay? And also the let statements are pretty rough too. So um, try to make sure that you can highlight there's uh, highlight all the information that you've used um, to create the let statement. There's probably going to be a, a, a sentence left where you can create an equation uh, from that. Okay, So uh, hopefully that tip helps and hopefully this video has helped. Uh, with solving some um, problems with algebra. So best of luck.